Well, tonight our pours come from Levi from Indiana. Thank you so much, Levi. We're excited for this five sample pour. We don't know what it is. There's the answer key, <laughs> Look so at stay this. tuned. I love this box. Cheers, David, to Levi and these samples. Hopefully they're good. Yo, they smell good to me. Ooh, I get butterscotch, yeah. caramel, a little bit of peanut. Uh-huh, little peanut, little peanut shell too. Some, I get like a whipped cream too. Like a cool whip, the thicker yes, stuff. Yes, the real whipped cream. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of a earthiness on it now too. Okay. A little down below, just very faint, not unpleasant at all. Plenty a little bit of spicy and some good caramel. Like you said, it does have kind of that whipped cream smell to it. Really pleasant. Some nice vanillas, but a lot of butterscotch. Butterscotch, yeah. A little bit of honey. Oh, it's got a kick to it, too. A titch of berry. But it's all that butterscotch, that creaminess. Butterscotch, creamy caramel. Caramel, honey. It's got a nice spicy rye kick up front, like some rye notes that kick up front. And not like a rye bourbon, like a rye whiskey, but more of like a, a higher rye bourbon. Mm -hmm. But it really is more so just this delicious butterscotch caramel mouthfeel. Some it, nice spice to counterbalance it. Exceptional finish. Syrupy. I'm getting a little musty barrel, like some age notes on it. I keep just, it's Ooh. it's growing and growing. Like there's... It really is. I get a brown sugar on it now too. Wow. This thing keeps getting better. Like the more we sip on it and drink it, the better it gets. This is quite different. I smell an earthiness. I get a little more fruitiness off of it. Maybe a dry fruit. This smells like alfalfa to me. <laughs> like from a field. Like if you drive by an alfalfa field and it comes through the vents. Grain, honey... I'm getting a little bit of a hay, a little caramel, a little vanilla. Let's get a lot of baking spice, some almond. When I pull away a little bit, I get a, like almost a granola bar with like chocolate chips in it. Yeah, that, that kind of fits actually. Everything we said. Whoa, do you get that, that brown sugar? Mm hmm That is delicious. This on the palate is fantastic. The nose was... I don't want to call Weird. it skunk bourbon, but it was not good smelling. But the palate on this thing is really good. But I still get a, a musty barrel on it. A little bit of honey. That granola bar is there for me too. So yeah, I'm getting a little bit of a grain, uh, getting a little barrel spice up front, getting a little bit of some age notes in a barrel, mm -hmm. like an older oak taste with a little bit of tobacco. I got like a lemongrass at the end of on this finish right here. The mid palate to me is all butterscotch, brown sugar vanilla but i'm still on the under under all of that still i'm still getting that older barrel this smells like cinnamon like a coffee cake it's but this coffee cake has a frosting on top coffee cake a little bit of cream cheese frosting i'm getting a little bit of a clove very very faint like barrel must it it's... smells pretty pleasant but it's really different in some ways coffee cake or like my creamy coffee see i get a lot of cream in my coffee i don't get co i get coffee i get a lot of clove some baking spice i get some nutmeg i get a little bit of almond almost like a, a little bit of almost like an almond brittle i got the almond I, there's there. like a like a peanut brittle almond brittle kind of thing going on mm -hmm. which is kind of plays with the butterscotch a little bit mm-hmm Lots of vanilla on this one. I'm getting a really interesting um, earthy smell on that one, or earthy taste on that. It's not like dirt or anything. It's more of like, it's some kind of a plant. Mm -hmm. Like this very earthy plant taste at first. Holy fudge. What, what is, is this? Yeah, this is... Fudge is a good word for it. I'm getting a lot of like spice up front with some chocolate and fudge notes, like you said. It smells really interesting. It's not super desserty. I'm getting much more of like baking spices on it. I think and I get grain. It's grainy or weedy or... Yeah, I do get a little bit of some graininess there. I could see that. Oh, that is like a wheat field with some berryness. Wow. <laughs> That's like nerd raspberries covered in caramel with... A little bit of spice, lots of proof, amazing mouthfeel, uh, a caramel cheesecake covered in bitter blackberry Rad. sauce or raspberry, raspberry sauce. sauce like a bitter sauce it's not like an overly sweet it's mm -hmm. a very tart sauce 
I'm even getting graham cracker crust of mm -hmm. a cheesecake on this thing. Talk I... about just like a traditional, amazing bourbon smell. <laughs> Man. Like some of the other ones had like interesting, unique. This is just like straight. Wow. I'm a delicious bourbon. A cinnamon roll with uh, vanilla frosting and mm. butterscotch. And I get a delicious. little, I get a weird, not a weird, but like a fruit smell, but it's very, very faint and it's not like I can place it right now yet. Yeah. It's actually like a dehydrated, like a mango chew. Do you get that warm coffee? I'm getting coffee, mint, baking spices, a little uh, graininess, but it's not like a traditional cereal, cereal grain. Mm -hmm. It's more like a fresh oat. It's got a great mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. It's, you can tell there's like a lot of quality in this one. I just, there's something about the palate I'm not in love with. I'm getting some earthiness. The syrupy mouthfeel, the mouthfeel on it, the, the chew of it is flipping amazing. Really good cereal, like cinnamon toast crunch. I can see the cinnamon toast crunch. Do you get the milk too? Yeah, milk, a little Count Chocula and some Frosted Flakes. I'm not being funny. I'm getting clove titch of a white pepper touch of salt i'm going deep on this one i'm digging for y'all my number five was this guy coffee and cereal in the morning yeah my number five was this one right here in the middle my number four okay. was your number five my number four was light up front it was spicy on the finish but i didn't like how it hit switched on me for me what killed this one for me mm -hmm. was there was this kind of a planty taste to it my number three was this guy he was oaky he was brown sugar still really really good this is my third place one right here so my number two was this guy cheesecake crumb cake raspberry sauce this guy had a lot of good things to say about it it so. was very very good we finally agree on something mm -hmm. But we don't agree on first. First, this was buttercream. So complex, so good, warms your mouth, just makes you want more. My first place, I thought, was the best balanced, the best mouth feel. If you combine oak notes, like aged oak notes, with brown sugar, you'll win. It's, fan it's fantastic. Whatever it is, I'm just saying, if I can get a hold of this bottle, mm -hmm. I want to buy it. I'm going to drink it all the time. Okay, or Levi, B. we are open up the results. Wow. I almost bought it when we were in Florida, but I didn't. What is it? I complete, I'm not telling you yet. We can, not until we get oh, here, ah! but I'm completely regretting not buying it because this is absolutely delicious. My fifth place was this guy. Okay, that is a Knob Creek single barrel bourbon world pick. Wow. Uh, it is 11, almost 11 years old, 10 and a half years old, something like that. 120 proof. So C is an Angel's Envy store pick. Big red liquor barrel, 110 proof. Okay, so I haven't had very good times with Angel's Envy. Neither one of us have loved Angel's Envy in the past. It's, and again, these were actually all good picks. Like Store picks are usually the best, though. I'm finding that store picks are better than the single barrels, or the, uh, the standard small batches or the standard releases. So support your local store. Buy those store picks because usually they're better than uh, the regular bottle. Your third place, which was my first place, was Yellowstone 2022 Limited Edition, 101 proof. So, David, let me ask you about Yellowstone. Do yeah. we have anything? Uh, we have some Yellowstone. We have the regular 93 proof one. I see it over there on the shelf. Um, and then we had a store pick that went bad on us. Mm -hmm. um, I literally, when remember when I was in um, uh, Total Wine and More in Florida and you got mad at me because I just was in there for so long. You're like, I got to give you a time limit from now on. <laughs> I literally had a Yellowstone 2022 limited edition in my hand, mm -hmm. walking circles around, trying to decide if I wanted to buy... A couple of different other bottles. How much was it though? 123. Oh wow. Okay. So I put it back on the shelf, mm -hmm. didn't get it, and oh, totally man. regret it. All right. D is New Riff single barrel. So in Florida, I found a store pick of New Riff bourbon, 105 mm -hmm. proof, and that's what we had in the hotel room, and that's what we kept going to. We wanted to stop drinking cocktails at our hotel bar just so we could go drink so this new riff. This new riff is so good. Yeah, so this is a uh, red, uh, big red liquor barrel, mm -hmm. 110 proof. My second place one is a new riff. I 
I'm telling you, new riff, both bourbons and rye. It's rise, my new thing. I'm. It's a thing. It's I'm, a thing. I the bourbon it. world needs to be careful because new riff is in Kentucky, right on the border of Cincinnati, right across the river from Cincinnati, and they are killing it. The Balboa <laughs> rye we have over there, it's a young rye, tastes freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. This store pick is barely five years old, if that. I feel no, like it's you, four and a half years old. I feel like you should have gotten a second bottle while you're there. Because we like almost creamed the first one. I literally shipped the bottle home and it had this much left yeah, in the bottom of the we bottle. We wanted to make sure we had the bottle. Because I wanted to do a bottle kill on it and talk about it because it was such... So good. It was like five years and one month. So Jamie. what's my number one? What is that? Your number one I don't is know that. 2XO Phoenix Blend. This is Dixon Dead Man's Blend. 104 proof. People are talking about this bottle online. Mm. I've seen people talk about it. Uh, Levi Complex, buttercream, so good. It was my third place. Jamie's favorite. And it is an exceptional, exceptional bourbon. My notes, my notes were really good. Buttercream. <laughs> really good. Light, nut, and berry, four out of five. And again, remember for me, first and second were kind of a toss up which would be the Yellowstone and the New Riff. Uh, the Yellowstone, I think, is the most expensive on the table. That's far, really interesting. Which was my first place. But uh, the Dixons was third and a clear third to me, but absolutely delicious. Fourth and fifth, these ones, were both delicious to me. One of the things that's really impressive to me about this blind is that they all have very, very similar flavor profiles. Um, and, I mean, obviously there were differences, but there was a lot of similarity. So Levi, great job in putting together a blind that really tied some interesting things together. Mm -hmm. The other thing that really stuck out to me was these drank way better than I thought. I and mean, when I look at the list versus what we tasted, what we tasted I thought was much older and more special and rare. And I'm not that's not to speak down to these because no. these were absolutely fantastic building off of you know why i love bourbon and mm -hmm. this is why is because you have some people whether it be you know dixon's dead man or the yellowstone limited edition blend or just the new riff single bear whatever whatever it is that kind of floats your boat these are some absolutely fantastic bourbons they don't have to be old to be delicious uh because these some of these or special or allocated this yeah. blind i think shows us that you know we're we're thinking the whole way through as we're tasting we're like these are expensive they're allocated they're hard to find either one of these my first and second either one of these could have been a four gate mm -hmm. or a very very rare limited bourbon and i wouldn't have been surprised uh don't sleep on your store picks uh support your local stores yes the yellowstone 20 22 is right up my alley. I missed last year's bottle and I heard mixed reviews on it. This one is totally my 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 palette. So I'm all over this one. On December 8th, we're doing a charity live stream on Whiskey Row for Make-A-Wish. Yeah, so check us out, Make-A-Wish, December 8th, 9 p.m. Eastern. Go to whiskeyrow.shop. Uh, go to the latest blog post. We have a list of all the bottles we're giving away and I'm about to update it with like another like six bottles right. in the giveaway. So it keeps growing. People keep donating. Uh, it's a super great charity that we're supporting, Make-A-Wish Foundation International. Money goes straight to them through GoFundMe. If you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Road, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you enjoy finding special bottles at your local store without having to hunt like crazy. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. It's pretty awesome. I hope he doesn't want his box back. And this, what is this fumble jumble right here? David. What is this? Those are my notes. This is David's notes. Wait, that's the wrong competition you're showing them. Though. These are the com this is that's this competition. And we have more than one competition on this thing. This one's just perfect. This one is probably an old forester. Young, but wanting to be aged. Like it has that motivation. Ivan, this is or Levi. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan Ivan Bravimovich. Thank you, comrade. I'm a changed woman. You are. I look on the outside like the same person, but I'm a changed woman. When we go out at 
like to a bar, Jamie, instead of looking at cocktails, she's like, do you have a 1910? And if they're like, yes, she's like, I'm drinking it. And if they're like, do you have a Cooper's Craft? She's like, I'm drinking that. And if they have- And David's like, if that's $24, drink that. we're not getting that. <laughs> this video is an hour and 14 minutes. Good luck with that. No, David.